Welcome everyone to famed Sanford City in between the hedges in Athens, Georgia. Home to the Bulldogs and 90,000 of their closest friends. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see the number 17 team in the country, the Clemson Tigers, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Dogs will kick this away. Start us off. Fielded in the end zone. It's Haynes. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. So Clemson special teams don't do the offense any favors with that return. Well, Kirk, you can just feel the emotion, the intensity of this rivalry game right now. Well, one thing we know is you work year-round for a rivalry game, and now it's right before your eyes. Let's see how these guys play today. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent game. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game, but boy, nice job by this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. Here's the handoff. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. Well, Kirk, you played in rivalry games. No shortage of inspiration, but how do you manage the emotion of it all? Well, I think you need great leadership from the team. Sometimes teams don't handle the emotions of it, and the game can get sideways on you. The teams that play the best in rivalry games are the teams that have the best leaders to keep them focused on the task at hand. Can he get there on the ground? And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. Well, I know it's here early in this game, but boy, that, this is what you want to see as an offense. You get to these third downs, it's all about trying to create opportunities and momentum. And that's what they've done here, converting to get a new set of downs. Clemson getting set with a first and ten now. On the run, it's Haynes. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. The defense coordinator this week, all week, telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Third down play coming up after that run. Looking downfield, it's Plubnik. Caught quickly. And the game just good enough for a first down. That's exactly what you want to see here from this offense. A big third down conversion. Offensive line did their job, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution, throws the ball accurately. And now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. And the Tigers looking to keep this drive rolling. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Touchdown, Clemson. This quarterback on fire today. Well, it is an impressive start, Kirk. In an emotional game like this, to be so efficient, to click like that early, is impressive. Well, it's very impressive and a great way to start for this team because all the buildup and all the hype, now you can just settle in and play your game. try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good, so it's 7-0. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. 
And here's the return from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. The Bulldogs offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. And a lot of focus on the tight end position in this game. Both teams have an elite guy they use in various ways to torment a defense. Yeah, Chris, I don't know if any position has really grown more than the tight end in college football in recent years. The days of just being a blocker are over. And these two guys can do it at a very high level. They can catch the ball, they can run in space, and they're outstanding blockers. Chris, it just feels like the offense is almost teasing the defense with this play. As an offensive coordinator quarterback, you're often looking for that soft spot in the zone. And here, they do a nice job of finding that hole for a nice game. Movement here from the tight end. Quick throw. That's an RPO caught on the left side. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. He shreds the tackle. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. Well, Kirk, no surprise to get these two teams on the field, and it's tight and competitive right to the finish. Well, Chris, the last time these two teams met, remember, it came down to the wire, the very final few minutes. Sure hope we get another one like that today. Again, makes it second and medium. Scanning the field, it's back. Gets made on the out route. Both carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. You call a quick out on third down? I think that tells you the confidence you have in a quarterback to be able to make that throw. And on top of that, little surprise the defense would give that kind of cushion to be able to give him room to pick up that first down. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. The defense drops him for a loss. He went backwards there. A second down behind the sticks now. I'll tell you what, man. This defense of speed is electric. Great job of running to the football. Nowhere to go at all after that throw. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw. On the run here. Let's it go. Makes the grab. It's Thomas. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. Some really tight windows to throw into for this quarterback with the defense sitting back in zone. But he finds the curl route, and he shows you his arm strength by getting it in there. Challenging spot for the offense. It's third down and long from the 45. Quick throw to the left side. Falls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. And the Bulldogs will line up to punt it away. Oh, it landed at the 7 and bounced into the end zone for a touchback. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here or the defense come up with a stop? I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. That one's incomplete. Second down after that previous play. They'll run it here. Oh, what a move. That game moves the ball out near the 25. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the football there on third down. But a defense picks the right time to get after this quarterback. Third down, critical down in distance. 
do a good job of dialing things up and good coverage downfield. He didn't have anywhere to go with the ball. The Tigers will send their punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. Can they begin to click now? Takes the handoff. It's ETN. Breaking free at midfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. And they'll go right back to him on first down. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. Offense getting set. It's second down. Looking downfield, it's back. Receiver makes the grab. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw, and that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett, who won back-to-back -back national. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. Boy, a great play here by a Clemson defender. It makes you think of all these great Clemson defenders they've had over the years, like The Fridge or Daquan Bowers, Vic Beasley, Grady Jarrett, and, of course, most recently, Miles Murphy, who got drafted just a few years ago. Always great defensive lineman allows this defense to be athletic. And with players like this, it's just a defense you do not want to face. And Sack sets up second down. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Defense flies in. They make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. And through one quarter, it's been a duel of big-time receivers showing out early in this one. They've flipped into the field. We're ready now for the second period. Third down play now, trying to keep this impressive drive going. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. He pulls it in for a big game. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. In the red area, it's ETN. Great cut. They whiff on him. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Georgia. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. Now the important point after attempt. And the PAT is good. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. Return of blood down. Sets up the next drive. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? 
They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well do you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Running back grabs it on the screen. Good job for the defense to fight through the blocks on that screen. He's short of the first down mark. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. High completion sets up an important third down play. Back to pass. It's Klubnik. And he's got it. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. First down, looking to throw the football. He's escaping the pocket now. Quarterback gets down to avoid the tackle. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but, man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. Second down play coming up for this offense. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. Another great pickup on the ground here by a Clemson running back. And you know, if you're going to be a running back for Clemson, you have to be able to not just do that, but also you got to be able to catch the ball to the backfield because they're dangerous in the passing game as well. This Clemson offense moving quickly down the field. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Really tough to run a good counter play when the linebackers aren't fooled at all. This time, they get down in a hurry into the line of scrimmage to make that play. Split backfield here. Offense switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. Caught over the middle. It's Williams. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. That completion sets up a third down play. Back to pass. It's Klubnik. On the run, he'll let it go. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Whew, that was pretty. The receiver broke down his defender on that curl against man-to-man -man coverage. That's how you win one-on-ones. And the Tigers hustle to the line to run the hurry up. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Talking about quickness, that play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman or just really good instincts there by the defender, but that play is blown up right at the snap. Getting set. Here's second down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Makes the grab. It's Blanding Stewart. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. And the crowd coming to life here, trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Out of the gun now on third down. That's reeled in. It's Whining Stewart. Looks like Clemson will have the first down. What a valuable commodity for this offense. You get down into the red zone, the defense is worried about the receivers to the outside. Who better to get the ball to than the big tight end to be able to pick up a first down down in the red area? Beautiful play. Clemson getting set with a first and 10 coming up. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play.
coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. One more play before the two-minute warning. They'll run it with the draw play. It's a good effort on the run, but the defense stops him just short of the marker. Fourth down now. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. They'll set up at the right hash mark for this chip shot. He missed it. Field goal, no good. And that one's off target, and the game will remain tied. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. A poor kicker. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Their last possession was a beautiful, balanced touchdown drive. Can the defense come up with answers this time? Let's it fly out of the wide out. He's got it for a big game. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. They'll get to the line here in the no huddle. On first and ten, looking to throw. Looking to make a big play downfield. Tackle is made, but it's a big game. They'll move the ball to the 25-yard line. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? To throw, it's back. Looking right, this one caught. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Man, isn't it fun to watch running backs who can add that dimension to the passing game? They're so dangerous because once they catch the football, they're operating in much more open space than they would be if they're just getting a handoff. And it really tests the linebacker's ability to cover out the space. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, it makes it pretty simple. All he had to do was get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. Now they'll set up for the point after. PAT puts him in front by seven. Getting set to kick the ball off now. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Returner tackle right there. That's where they'll start the drive. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. The pass is intercepted. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. He didn't really seem to feel like he had anybody open. He just puts it up in the air, and the defense says, thank you, we'll take it. Dogs hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. To throw. It's back. Looking to the end zone. Oh, incomplete. He nearly threw a pick in the end zone. 
Second down coming up. Well, they're snapping the ball near the goal line, but the defense does a good job of thinking, hey, guys, let's force the incompletion. Force them into going for three, and let's not give up six. They did their job there. Offense facing second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Couldn't quite get there, but brought down at the one-yard line. Well, they came very close to punching that one in, and now third down and goal. And if I'm the OC, I challenge my offensive line in that back. I just slam it right back into that A-gap and try to overpower that defensive front. So nothing on the previous play sets up a third and goal from the one. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Touchdown, dogs! This offense cannot be stopped. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. Extra point try coming now. With the extra point, the lead is 14. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And the returner brought down by that coverage team. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Well, a lot of times when a quarterback sees man defense, he wants to get the ball out of his hands as quickly as possible. Put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle or two on the outside and get a big play. That's a dangerous throw. It falls incomplete, but this defense almost had a second interception today. Boy, oh boy, Chris, this quarterback is getting way too loose with the football. He's already thrown an interception on the last series, almost has another one here. He's got to start taking better care of the football. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. It's a good job by the defense here on this third down, and now it's going to bring up a big fourth down play and a decision here for the head coach. The Tigers will bring their punt team onto the field, and he'll kick it away now for the second time. Bringing it back, it's Evans be brought down but a penalty marker is on the field let's see what this is about pretty easy call for the head coach he will accept that penalty of course the offense will keep going here after that special teams penalty makes a quick grab and a big game before he goes out of bounds the offense keeps churning gets a fresh set of downs well, that's exactly what you need to do as a receiver in these kind of situations near the end of the half. Get some positive yards, but also stopping the clock is just as important. Clemson getting set with a first and ten now. Looking to throw. It's Klubnik. And he dumps it off to the tight end. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into. But the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. The pocket breaking down. Got him for a sack. A big play made by one of the senior leaders of this defense. So a timeout is called. Just a few seconds left here in the first half. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long looking to set up a screen pass here. And they bring him down. Blocker is not much help on the screen there. He's short of the first down. The offense calls a timeout here. That's their third and final of the half. Looks like one more play here before halftime. 
Fourth down. He's throwing for it. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Incomplete, but yeah, here comes a penalty marker now. That should be a drive extending first down. Man, playing defensive back has got to be the toughest job out there right now in college football. You get isolated on islands against these freaky, talented receivers. It's hard enough to be able to stay up with them and try to make a play on the ball, and often you end up bumping them downfield and you get a call like this. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. And the Tigers will kick this away to begin the second half. Return starts from inside the five. The returner coughs up the football inside their own 20. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Play action here on first down. Good throw to the left. Breaks loose at the 40. And it's a huge chunk play. The tackle is finally made, but the ball moved to the 47-yard line. That'll put him over 150 yards today. Kirk, he is putting on a show on this big stage. How great is this? On this stage, as you mentioned, Chris, just playing his best game. He's been in sync with his receivers. Back there, has time to throw. Just having a dream performance. Back to throw. It's back. Fires it to the wideout. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. Well, it's a great catch near the sideline and does a good job of getting that foot down to secure the catch. The offense is clicking and the defense just searching for answers now. Grab behind the line. It's Love it. Defense drops him for a loss. Tougher second down on the way. A couple things that really stood out to me here, Chris, on this nice play by the corner. Awareness to be able to see the wide receiver screen, and then the willingness to get involved and run support and make the tackle. Great play. Here's the second down play. Grab behind the line. It's Love it. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field, somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. On third down, it's a handoff. Picks up a game here. They'll stop him just a few inches short of the first down marker. So no field goal try here. Coach keeps the offense on the field to go for it on fourth down. Quarterback's got it on the option. Pitches to the back. Tackle down at the three-yard line after an excellent run. I can really appreciate this offensive coordinator not trying to just do something crazy. You're less than a foot away from the first down line. Just punch it in and pick up a first down. That's what they call here, and it works out perfectly. The Bulldogs will line up here on first down and goal. Here's the handoff on first and goal. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. 
Well, the defense is locked in on this running back, and for good reason. He's already scored a couple touchdowns. If I'm the offensive coordinator, give it to him one more time. Let him make it a hat trick. Let's we'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. They'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Georgia. And momentum really building now. Kirk, this one could get out of hand here in a hurry. And that's the last thing you want to do in a rivalry game. Not just lose the game, but get embarrassed. Man, you got to fight for 60 minutes. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And they go up 18 after the PAT. Pickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And it's fielded. Returner trying to make something happen. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Keeping it on the ground here. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. The Tigers will crank up the tempo. And the same runners got it again. Get some space around the 30. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. You know, all week, the defensive coordinator told us about the quarterback. He told us about the receivers and how they're going to throw the football. But, man, they better get locked in on stopping this run game because that was a big-time game. First down here for this offense. Going with the old counter run here. Powering right past the defender. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Offense getting set, second down play here. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. They make the tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Costly holding penalty there. Backs him up 10 yards. Important second down play coming up. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. That was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. Third down, the offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Dropping back, it's Klubnik. Quick throw to the left. Makes the catch downfield. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. This comes on offense moving quickly down the field. And looking to throw now on first down. Nowhere to go. The ball knocked loose. And the defense jumps on the football. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnover. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. 
Handoff from the shotgun. Stock right there at the line. No game. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Now it's second down here. Tight end goes in motion. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Running back has it on the screen now. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And, you know, that being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football. And Georgia does that as well as anybody. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Gives it to the back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. He's running out of time here. Thrown quickly, caught in the right flat. Big man finally brought down by the cornerback. That was a tough assignment. Well, I thought we'd see this tight end all game long within this game plan, but that's just his second catch of the game. The defense has done a nice job of being able to recognize where he is and take him out of this plan. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. And he's got it from 49 yards out. What a powerful kick. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So after adding to this big lead, they'll set to kick it away. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And they'll run it out of the shotgun. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. And as we wrap up the third quarter, check out the comparison of these big play wide receivers. Both guys have been lighting it up so far today. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. To the air, it's Klubnik. Tries the right with a quick throw. And he pulls in the catch. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Hadn't been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Pulls it in. It's Brown. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. Second down play coming up. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. It's an out route. The catch made. And he'll head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. The key on a third down between a quarterback and a wide receiver is the timing. That quarterback knows that he's got to get the ball out quickly and on time to give his receiver a chance to not just make the catch and stay in bounds, but to be able to give him a chance to maybe get upfield and make a play. 
First down, looking to throw the ball. He makes the grab. They've got him, but it's a huge gain. They'll spot it about the 27. Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it, offense has been at a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. And the Tigers come to the line to run the hurry up. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. To the air, it's Klubnik. He's moving out of the pocket. Quarterback looking to... Oh, and he fumbles! Recovery by the defense headed the other way. Breaks free down the left side. End zone ahead. The 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And the defense joins the party with a score. Boy, this linebacker showing you he's got some serious speed. I mean, he's been pounding people play after play against a run. This time, the ball's on the ground. I just thought he might pick it up. He shows us what kind of speed he has. Takes it all the way back for a touchdown. And they'll set up for the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. And it's fielded. Can the returner make something happen here? And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. No surprise they're in a hole here. They've given the football away in each of the last two possessions. Tackle made on the play at the 29-yard line. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Back to throw. It's Klubnik. Catch made over the middle. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Now the receiver does all the work here. Man, that is easy living for this quarterback. Really good footwork by the receiver. Gets the separation. And at that point, it's just pitch and catch for the quarterback. See what the call is on first and ten. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Here's a screen pass to the running back. The play never had a chance. Defense grabs him for a loss. Boy, the defense does such a good job of taking any threat downfield away. All he could do is throw it to his back and loss of yards. Now you're behind the sticks. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? And the quarterback dropping back. He cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure in the sack against their quarterback. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Makes the catch. It's Williams. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. 
Makes the catch, and the offense will keep this drive going. He's tackled inside the 35 and picks up a first down. Well, Chris, here's an example of what we always talk about. On fourth down, the receiver's got to run a route beyond the sticks. Great awareness to know exactly where he is. Quarterback makes the throw. Receiver gets hit, but he's beyond the sticks for the first down. Dropping back, it's Klubnik. Fires it to the wideout. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. Tackle made after a big gain. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there. And the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. They stop him after a six-yard game. So second and four. Ooh, that came close to breaking into the secondary and potentially a big play. Read option, the quarterback keeps it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yards. Only a nice tackle prevented it from going all the way. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Grab down the middle, it's Brown. Bring him down short of the goal line, but it's first and goal from the two. Boy, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. The Tigers line up with a first and goal. From the shotgun, drops back. And he's got it! Touchdown, Tigers! Well, you could tell that this play caller, the offense coordinator, he's thinking about the future. He wants to see how his quarterback and how this offense wants to compete when this game's out of reach. He's going to be very happy with the result of this play. comes the point after attempt. And it's up and good. Formation would indicate they're going to try the onside kick here. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. This has been a tremendous performance by this team. Now just the finishing touches. Run out the clock and let the party begin. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off and there's just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call. And they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. That's the mark of a well-coached team. These guys don't even pay attention to the score. They're just out there executing and churning up yards. Good, solid run there as this clock continues to wind down. This offense has had a great day. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Quarterback keeps the football. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal was obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. And he's got it from 55 yards away and never in doubt. 